Funding for state government continued to fall last month, raising the specter of another revenue failure and more cuts to state services. Meanwhile, Governor Mary Fallon continues to push for a special session to spend money cut from agency budgets, even as a lawsuit is filed demanding the money be returned to state agencies struggling to maintain services to Oklahomans in need. Money to pay for state government was tight last year, as lawmakers began the legislative session looking at a $1.3 billion budget shortfall. The news in the first month of the new fiscal year hasn't been much better. According to the state treasurer's office, total state revenue declined for the 17th straight month in July, falling by 9.4 percent from the same month last year. Now, if you want to compare that to the last uh, recession, to the Great Recession, uh, we've seen receipts drop now uh, again for 17 months. Compared to the recession, we saw them drop for 14 months before the recovery began. Deputy Treasurer Tim Allen says much of the decline can be attributed to depressed oil prices and the downturn in the energy industry, which has since spilled over into other areas. We're seeing income taxes down. We're seeing, uh, uh, we're seeing sales tax numbers down. We're seeing motor vehicle numbers down, in addition to the gross production tax being uh, uh, deeply uh, uh, down from where it has been. Since the Great Recession of 2008, Gross receipts to the Treasury have paralleled the rise and fall of oil patch jobs, but it's not just the price of oil that's fueling the state's budget crisis. Oklahoma has repeatedly cut the state's top income tax rate in recent years, even as oil prices began falling, and State Auditor and Inspector Gary Jones says legislation remains on the books, which could trim taxes even further. If we have a slight uptick in the amount of money that comes in, we could trigger another tax cut, but not really be out of this hole, which is, which is ludicrous right now to think that we're, uh, we're spending every single penny we have in savings accounts to try to make, make ends meet, but we have, a, we have a law out there that got written, got very poorly written, that we can't seem to fix. This week, the Office of Management and Enterprise Services released new figures showing tax collections available for spending fell short of projections by 4.4%. In addition, collections were more than 11 percent below the same month a year ago. Mickey Hepner is Dean of Business at the University of Central Oklahoma. Hepner says he's most concerned by the drop in sales tax revenue. And when I saw that that number came in more than 7 percent below the estimate um, in July, that one gives me pause because that's not a volatile number. That's not a number that, that has a lot of noise in it. When it comes in weak, it tells us there was a weakening in the state economy in July. While the latest numbers only reflect one month of the current fiscal year, Hepner points out that the estimates for FY17 were already lowered significantly from where they were at last year. The question really is at this point, did those estimates get lowered enough whenever they set the budget for this, this current year? And right now, I'm not very comfortable that, um, that, that they were. I'm still seeing significant concern that we might have another revenue failure later this year. Hepner says oil prices are the key factor right now. And as long as we stay below that $45 a barrel number, and right now we're, we're trading below $42, then I think there's an increased likelihood that we're going to have a revenue failure again by December. And Hepner isn't convinced we've seen the bottom for the energy industry. We still have not seen the big shakeout that we would expect to see in that industry from the decline that we've seen in the last year. And so that's the, the part that's still looming and hanging over the state economy is uh, how much longer will these firms be able to hold on at these depressed prices. Meanwhile, the state's budget crisis is now threatening to spill over to the Oklahoma Supreme Court. Oklahoma City Attorney David Slane has filed a lawsuit seeking to have more than $140 million in so-called surplus money returned to agencies from which it was cut. Slane argues those funds were actually appropriated to state agencies which lost the money when a second revenue failure declared by state finance officials late in the fiscal year cut more than was needed to balance the budget. They were only permitted under law to cut what was necessary. And they said, oh, well, we accidentally cut too much. I'm sorry, then you need to accidentally put the money back that you accidentally took under the law. Slane says he filed the lawsuit on behalf of six clients who received state services through the Department of Human Services, which last week announced additional cuts of $45 million. Take the money from these people 
that the legislature's already appropriated, the most needy in our society, those are the ones that have not. These people, one of them may die. To take money from them is just unbelievable. It's unthinkable. Governor Mary Fallon and Secretary of Finance Preston Dorflinger have suggested a special legislative session be called to consider using the unspent money for teacher pay raises. A spokesman for the governor's office says talks with legislative leaders about a special session are continuing, although it may be several weeks before a decision is made.